Hey, what's happening? It's Paul Ingram with College Center. I hope that you're ready for some really cool training. In today's training, all you're going to need is a single collie stick or a training bolo. But before we get to the training, do me a quick favor and make sure, number one, give this video a thumbs up. Number two, hit the subscribe button to the channel and... Number three, tell me in the comments below, how long have you been watching Kali Center videos? Has it been uh, less than a year, around a year, more than a year? Have you been with us since the beginning of the channel? Oh my gosh, over seven years ago. Let me know in the comments below how long you've been hanging with me and training with me. Let's go ahead and grab our gear. Let's get to today's training. If you do not have a rattan stick, train with anything that you can find for today. Then head over to CollieCenter.com, go check out our gear store that we have and go order yourself a pair or two of rattan collie sticks. That way you have them and then we got more of that traditional training tool. So if you noticed, I've changed my environment. I'm inside of my greenhouse today because a lot of times when we're uh, going through some strikes and some drills, I'm outside and I have this big open area. So what I wanted to do for today's training is condense my area and give you some striking mechanics, some techniques that you can do in a more enclosed space. So as you're training these mechanics, you're training these techniques, then you can still start generating some really good speed and power even when you are in an enclosed, refined space just like this. So let's go ahead and uh, jump right on into it. So a lot of times we're gonna you know, be striking this full power strike just like this. But you know, if I'm kind of getting stuck back in this corner or something, you know, I don't want to be hitting stuff and you know, losing control of my weapon. So I want to make sure that I have good mechanics. I want you to make sure you have good mechanics so you can start striking with shorter strikes but still developing a lot of power. So make sure you're paying really close attention. Stick with me all the way to the end so that way you have all the mechanics for the different transition of the strikes. So from here, you know, the very first thing is just going in with that hack or what we call a broken number one or broken strike. And this is where we're going to strike and then retract like this. So it doesn't take like this big, huge amount of space. You strike it like this. It's almost kind of like you're jabbing it out. Sometimes we want this big arc, and then sometimes you just want it kind of to go straight out, straight back in real quick. So sometimes you can arc it. It's going to give you a little more power. Or sometimes you got to kind of jab it out there, which is going to give you a little bit more speed. But it's a broken strike, meaning we're going to strike to the center, and then we're going to retract the strike just like this. One, two, three right there. Same thing on the backhand side on that angle two, right? Same thing. We can strike it and then bring it back. So a broken number two, a broken number two. You still want to make sure that you're using your hips and shoulders to generate more torque, which is going to provide more power in the strike. So you've got your broken one and you've got your broken two. Another thing you can do with these broken strikes or these kind of half strikes is instead of going straight like this, for any of my Jeet Kune Do friends out there, this might be somewhat familiar to you. But we're going to go ahead and go into a more of a circular energy. It's going to be a very small, subtle, circular type of energy. So we're going to circle it just like this. Boom, right here. Bah, right there. Mm, right here. So instead of this being kind of more like a line, we're going to go boom and circle it back. And the reason for that is we're getting the same amount of leverage and power that we would with a broken strike. However, because of the circular, this is giving us a faster return of our weapon. Right there, bam, okay? This is just like in uh, JKD, like back in my Jeet Kune Do days, or if you ever heard Bruce Lee talk about you know, that straight jab, you know, he didn't say that you're gonna jab out and then bring it straight back in, that you're gonna jab and put a little J on it right at the end, because it's gonna help to get that jab to be faster all the way through the strike. A fast delivery and then a faster return. So that way you can deliver more strikes faster. Same exact thing here. So we're gonna go into more of a circular strike. So instead of this straight like this, now you're gonna see the mechanic. Okay, I'm gonna circle it just like this. Okay? Very, very important mechanic here. We can do the same thing on the two as well. Okay? Same exact thing on the two. Okay, that's a circular two. And when we strike a one like this, when we circle it out, see now we can also strike this down on the vertical. And it's going circular like this. One, two, three, four, five, right there. It's gonna take some reps, it's gonna take some training, it's gonna take some practice to really get it down to hone in the skill. But once you have it, 
it's going to be super effective. So another type of striking that we have is called the V strike. So if I have to transition from the forehand side of my body to the backhand side of my body, see I don't want to just strike like this because I might start running into objects in my environment, which is going to slow you down. It's going to possibly uh, have you lose control of your weapon, and we don't want that. So we have what's called our V strike. I'm going to strike out in front of me, and then I'll pull it all the way across. Boom, right there. So my angle one, pull it to my two, strike the angle two, and then pull it to that angle one. So we have our V strikes just like this. So we can start combining a lot of these movements. I can come into my circular one, hit a V strike. Hit that circular two, hit a V strike. And that's the drill. I want you to isolate each one of these movements by themselves. And then I want you to get to that drill where you can circular strike, V strike. Circular strike, V strike. Or you can just go broken strike, V strike. Broken strike and V strike. Don't neglect the brokens because you might need those at time to time. Because the circular strikes are really good. Okay, There's a lot of momentum. And that's so you can get a fast, fast return. But the broken strikes are also really good because you can break the timing between your tactics and techniques a little bit more. And then it's a little bit easier to change your tactics. So if I'm going into, you know, right here, a little bit easier than if I'm going circular right there. So don't neglect, right? There's pros and cons to each type of technique. All right, so practice these moves. I want you to just kind of real quick get like 10 to 20 broken ones in. Right? And then get 10 to 20 broken twos in. Then get 10 to 20 circular ones in, nice and tight like this. And then go into the vertical strikes, just like this. And then go into your circular twos, 10 to 20. And then nice and tight, just like this. Keep that out. That's how, that way you can work the verticals on the backhand side. And then 10 to 20 V strikes. That's one. That's two. That's three. It's four, it's five, it's six, it's seven, it's eight, it's nine, and that's ten, and try to go for twenty or more. The more training, the better. And then start blending the techniques together into more combination style drills where you can go broken into the V-strike, broken into the V-strike, or circular one into the V-strike, circular two into the V-strike, or Hit that vertical right here and then broken and then the V-strike. Hit that vertical, go broken, and then the V-strike. Or, you got it, you can hit that vertical, hit that circular, hit that broken, and then hit that V-strike right there. All right, so you can hit that right there, that vertical, hit that circular, hit that broken, pop a horizontal, and then go into that V-strike just like that. I hope that this video gives you a lot of good ideas of how versatile Kali can be. That even with the longer weapon, even with a 28 inch stick or a bolo or something like that, that you can still fight in very tight quarters with it. And we haven't even covered like the puño strikes and the thrusts and anything like that. We're just covering like, you know, these basic kind of hacks and slashes just like that. It always amazes me that Kali is this versatile as a martial art. It's just one of those things of you know why it's just so cool of a martial art to me. You know, to me it's the coolest martial art because of all the versatility that this martial art has. Weapons to empty hands, long range fighting like open spaces to closer range fighting, closer spaces. And a lot of people will misconcept that Kali is only this like long range, far range fighting system, but it's not. We can really fight, you know, this close, right? Boom, boom, right here. You know, I can go ahead and use this very, very, very close and very tight to my opponent. And then there's a lot of other things, techniques and tactics that we can go into. Again, make sure to hit the thumbs up button for this video if you like this idea of training. Maybe I'll do some more kind of closer environment trainings right here, just like this for you. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. Leave me a comment below 
and uh, just go ahead and let me know how long have you been watching the Kali Center channel. And if you want to continue your training with me here at Kali Center and you want to dive deep into the art of Kali, all the areas of Kali, and become a true Kali beast, make sure to head over to KaliCenter.com and go check out my online training. We've got our courses, our programs, and our DVD downloads that's going to cover fundamentals of Kali and all the different categories of Kali, single stick, double stick, spotty daga, knife, empty hands, dumal everything spear staff and it'll even start to move you into more of the intermediate and advanced skills as well you can just grab our apex ultimate training package where you just get everything that I have in my online school for a really killer deal I got the links right in the description below and maybe I'll see you on over there until next time get into some close range type of quarters and uh, make that your Kali Dojo. Until next time, I'll see you later.